here's another question that was sent to me a while ago and of course I watched a video about using these plywood gussets instead of rafter ties for a small shed and I really don't think this is going to be that big of a deal you're building something like we have here that's eight foot by eight foot um, knock yourself out I don't you know if you live in an area where it snows a lot and you're worried about a heavy load on top of the shed maybe don't do this but uh, other than that I don't really see a problem with it um, however um, you can build it uh, conventionally for only probably I'm guessing about spending another twenty dollars and make it a little stronger why not do that um, so if you're going to build a small shed and you want to use these plywood um, gussets to connect the rafters um, I got a couple of things I just want to point out uh, this is something that an engineer might not approve and again for a small shed they might um, but for a larger you know anything larger than eight foot by eight foot I don't know um, and again I'm not about to suggest that you can't do something like this you know because I don't know what size rafters and plywood you're going to be using you know if you're going to use a uh, um, eight foot sheet of plywood here and create some type of a truss or something like that you're going to have something that's pretty sturdy you're just going to nail them up on the top you know um, you know maybe use a half inch plywood something like that that's not going to be as strong as if you had uh, a, a different lumber sizes and uh, different plywood thicknesses and larger amounts of lumber being used so I hope that makes sense but something like this is going to be a little stronger and uh, all we're going to be doing is adding one collar tie and a ridge so it's like why not go back to the tried and true stuff that works remember collar ties are usually spaced four foot on center here we have uh, two by four roof rafters for this shed and uh, they're um, I'm guessing about five foot long something like that possibly six foot long and um, you know we we come to the four foot right in the middle of the shed we got a uh, rafter tie in here not not complicated now I understand if you're going to build a shed you're looking for headroom or something like that then uh, you might not want to put a uh, rafter tie in here but why not even if you're using the other method and you put a rafter tie in here and if you use the other method and you put a rafter tie on each one of the rafters it's going to be stronger you know so if you are going to use that the other method for an eight foot by eight foot shed and I think someone sent me a question a while ago that was uh, building an eight foot by 16 foot shed and they wanted to use the um, um, gusset method and uh, they've, they've seen it on a video and I actually seen I came across the video um, the individual did about uh, within the past two months and again it takes me back to all of the stuff on YouTube that either doesn't work at all um, works um, okay or something in a situation like this can be um, improved drastically by simply adding two pieces of wood so that's the main point I want to make with the video here is you know for a shed small shed you can get away with building things um, if the shed falls down you know as long as it doesn't hurt anybody what's the big deal you know it's not a house it's something that can be tore down and, and fixed but if you want something that's going to last a long time stick with the tried and true methods the methods that work conventional roof framing this works if I want this roof to be a little stronger I'm going to put uh, um, to use two by six roof rafters um, maybe a two by eight ridge um, if I don't want to have any um, rafter ties I'm going to put a ridge beam in here and have it supported by some posts on the end and again you have more information on that at the website and I got to separate um, pages just for shed sheds and for roof framing so there's plenty of information there if you're looking for more ways to um, build something you know especially if you're worried about headroom if that's actually going to be a problem and if you are worried about headroom why not make the walls a little taller 
you know hey I can't you know I feel like I'm gonna be cramped well put 10 foot walls use 10 foot walls conventional framing and you don't need to use the plywood gussets now something else I want to point out with the roof ridge we're going to be able to structurally support the fascia board on the end here um, like this if you are going to use the other method you might want to have the fascia board um, something that you can nail into the framing that's not going to be supported because you're not going to have much to support it with and if you install lookouts in here then you're kind of like getting back to this what's the point now you're putting more pressure on this plywood gusset here um, and uh, you know you're adding more materials go back to conventionally framing it with the ridge to help you support the fascia board and for an eight foot building like this eight foot by eight foot you know do you need any lookouts I, I don't think I would worry about it but put one in if you are worried about it what the heck you know make it as strong as you want to and uh, just to give you an idea what I'm talking about here the there is a spacer and the spacer is just so that you can um, get the siding or the stucco behind the fascia board so spacer is going to be whatever thickness you need usually it's going to be three quarters of an inch if your siding is going to be three quarters of an inch it can be larger can be smaller and you're going to need to have enough room to where you can slide the um, lathing for the stucco or the siding behind it so that it is somewhat water resistant another thing I want to point out about the ridge is that it's going to give you something to nail the perimeter of the plywood to if you use the other method you would have to block it and you could you could install blocks in between the plywood uh, gussets and the rafters and uh, create the same effect that won't be a problem and uh, that would be suggested if you do use that method otherwise you're going to have a weak spot here especially if you're using two foot on center roof rafters not going to be as big of a problem if you're using 16 inch on center rafters but if you aren't going to use the blocks and you're going to use the plywood gussets what I would suggest is using a thicker plywood so instead of using half inch plywood which is a standard roof sheathing you could always install 5 eighths or 3 quarter inch thick plywood to create a stronger surface and that is about all I have to say about that so the main point I want to drive home in this video is that for small sheds you want to use the plywood gussets I don't think you're going to have a big problem you know and when I say a small shed um, something that isn't going to um, be longer than eight foot you know um, ten foot might be pushing it but uh, you know again all you need to do if you want to use the plywood gussets and you want to make it a little stronger you don't want to install a ridge or any blocks um, put the collar tie I mean the rafter ties in install the rafter ties in here four foot on center and you're gonna have a lot um, stronger building something that an engineer would rather see um, are they gonna want to see these rafter ties um, to strengthen the roof framing and the building um, probably more than anything I could think of um, in this particular situation